warm welcome to Avatar Technology Digest and here are the top stories of the last week. As always, we start our digest with news on technology, medical cybernetics and artificial intelligence. You'll see a lot more instances of robotic arms in the news, but it doesn't mean high-tech prosthesis for lower limbs don't exist. Last Monday, Italian scientists from Cyberlax project presented their work to public. The Cyberlax project, a joint project by a number of European institutions, since 2012 have been developing robotic legs that can help amputees move and walk around more naturally. Each system is comprised of small shoes equipped with pressure sensors and inertial measurement units, the limb itself, as well as a component and algorithm that can decode how the user intends to move. It can, for instance, tell if the user wants to start walking, to get up or sit down, based on the amputee's habits, providing the proper support for each action. The system has been already tested by 11 people. Scientists are determined that they still need to reduce the prosthetic's weight and size for comfort. The team is hoping to get additional funds from industrial partners to make that happen and bring Cyberlax to market in two to three years' time. Amazing new 3D printing technology looks like science fiction movie. A new innovation called 3D Clip is 100 times faster than the traditional 3D printing. The real game changer is the fact that a completely new approach involves growing rather than printing 3D objects. Now scientists found a new way to actually grow parts continuously out of liquid resin puddle and can do it really fast at hundreds to thousands of millimeters an hour. Carbon 3D technology does this by harnessing oxygen and UV light to grow the parts continuously. It looks to be a variant of stereolithography. Instead of curing the resin with UV light, where UV light is being used to trigger a chemical reaction, presumptively some oxidation. As oxygen is critical, that is much faster than curing. This clip method looks like a classic breakthrough innovation. Here, the real breakthrough, much more than resolution, is sheer glorious speed, using something already well established but using a breakthrough twist in the material. Clip printing also uses a wide range of materials, from hard to elastic ones. Besides that, this technology enables to create objects with unique geometry. Scientists said that the grown projects are already finding their way into a range of industries from medical to automotive. The human brain can process huge amounts of information. Unfortunately, even the latest and the greatest supercomputers suffer from speed and power limitations. New optical fiber material could pave the way for computers that think. Used inside a properly designed chip, this technology could lead to computers that think and learn like a human. British and Malaysian researchers have found that fiber optics can be used to build low power, high bandwidth artificial neurons that mimic their biological counterparts. The secret to the new device is something they call photonic synapses, networks of light-bearing amorphous metal sulfide microfibers that make synapses onto each other much like those found in actual brains. The researchers here used gallium lanthanum oxysulfide fibers, which can be photodarkened by light itself. Because the inner workings of a neuromorphic chip are so similar to those of an actual brain, researchers believe that a detailed understanding of how the human brain works could be translated to an artificial brain with relative ease. Superfast bipedal robot Atreus, a walking and running robot with a spring in its step, is currently in training for world record. American engineers modeled Atreus after birds, which are arguably the fastest and most agile two-legged runners in the world. The robot's fallback carbon fiber leg mechanism is very lightweight, and the legs are mounted to series elastic fiberglass springs, which act both as a suspension and a means of mechanical energy storage. So far, Atreus has demonstrated impeccable balance with standing kicks and pushes from a researcher. Scientists believe the innovation could be used to send robots to disaster areas where it's too dangerous for humans to go, or the technology could be used in prosthetic limbs to give them more natural movement. In addition to training, Atre also tends to brag about its accomplishments. The robot has its own Twitter handle and tweets its progress on a daily basis. What is consciousness? Where in the brain do you exist? How does your brain produce awareness? New theory sheds new light on origins of consciousness. Vanderbilt University researchers took a significant step toward answering these long-standing questions with a recent brain imaging study. Using graph method, they discovered global changes in how brain areas communicate with one another during awareness. A new study finds that consciousness does not make its home in just one brain region. Instead, researchers say awareness degrades the brain's model of function and substitutes an integrated connectivity in which widespread communication arises across areas of the cortex. Consciousness, then, arises from cooperative and not solo brain activity. The results provide compelling evidence that awareness is associated with truly global changes in the brain's functional connectivity, and no one part of the brain is truly the seat of the soul. 
thanks to advances in 3D printing, new molecule-making machine could speed the development of life-saving drugs. Now researchers have created a 3D printer that works on the atomic scale, assembling complex molecules from scratch. And they say the molecule-making machine could revolutionize the drug development process and simplify the fabrication of solar cells and other high-tech products. A machine that builds complex molecules from simple chemical building blocks was developed in the lab of University of Illinois by chemistry professor Martin Burke. To create the machine, Burke and his team analyzed the structures of thousands of molecules and identified the chemical building blocks shared by a large majority of them. The machine essentially snaps these building blocks together like Lego and then washes away the byproducts. So far, the device is capable of building 14 classes of small molecules that the researchers hope to develop the technology to the point that it can assemble almost any kind of small molecule. The new printer simplifies the molecule-making process and makes it accessible to non-chemists. That's all for Avatar Technology Digest. Thank you for watching us. If you're watching us for the first time, you're welcome to subscribe, find the user like, share, comment, and join the global conversation. Stay tuned and see you next Monday.